Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Up Home Sports here with a 2010 Chicago Bulls realistic rebuild part two of the series. What if Derrick Rose never got injured? If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now for a lot of sports content. And if you guys have not seen the previous parts, make sure you click the link in the description. It'll take you right to the playlist. But here in the draft lottery, you won't have a high pick. Obviously, we have Derrick Rose, so we're not going to be too bad. With our first round pick, I am going to select a big man here, Alex Len out of Maryland, 7-1. So we do need a backup big man, and he can get rebounds, he can play defense. Not going to be too much on offense, but... And in the second round, Andre Roberson did fall to us. We all know how good he is as a defender on the wing. Pretty much non-existent on offense, but he's going to be off the bench either way. And here is our roster for this season. Derrick Rose up to a 95 overall. We've got Kevin Love, Luol Dang. Pretty much the core is the same. Um, we just got a win in the playoffs. We haven't done anything. I think we got to the conference finals once, and that was in the first season. So we got to get back there and then eventually to the finals. Rotation looking like this. The bench is actually pretty solid. But I do want to upgrade the shooting guard position if possible. Same coach and the same system. All-star teams looking like this. Kevin Love does make the all-star team this time along with Derrick Rose. So that is good. We have two all-stars on the team. At the trade deadline, checking out how we're doing. We just lost to the Mavericks. Four seed again at 31 and 23. Not the best. And I do think we're stuck in that four to five range. So we're going to have to make some moves in the offseason. MVP of the league once again. LeBron James, his 47th in a row. Jimmy Butler now in the league. Actually, he's been in the league. What am I talking about? But all NBA teams looking like this. Derrick Rose again, all NBA second team. Absolute stud for Derrick Rose, putting up numbers and actually becoming a really good passer. So, checking out the standings, we did fall a little bit to the fifth spot in the west, in the east, I mean. But we are playing the Hawks, who beat us last time in seven games in the second round. So, stats looking like this Kevin Love, 20 points per game. I like that, I like the shooting percentages. Everyone else doing about the same. Joe King Noah, five points per game okay but we were not that great on offense pretty good defensively game seven against the hawks in the first round can we pull off the upset no god no god please no 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 and we lose that game seven again to the hawks it's not like they're great but they got this guy marquise daniels don't know who that is. Jeff Teague, Al Horford. Al Horford didn't even play great. Derrick Rose with a double-double. Kevin Love, though, 14 points. Eh. So we're going to have a rematch again. Heat and the Spurs this time. Heat beat the Mavericks in the other rematch. But we'll see if the Spurs take it. And they do. Tim Duncan, finals MVP. Checking out the draft lottery. This is what it looks like. And we're going to have a pick, but it's not going to be too great. So we'll see if we trade it. So I am going to be making a trade here with the Milwaukee Bucks. Worst team in the East. And they're not even starting the guy who I want to go after. And that is Monte Ellis. He is a 20 point per game scorer on the Bucks. He is on a bad team, but we need that third option who can score for us. We've got Derrick Rose. We've got Kevin Love. We don't really have that third option who can go get buckets so we really need monte ellis on a three-year deal making a lot of money so the bucks also get to clear some cap here sean livingston on one-year deal alex on a rookie deal and also a first round pick and a second round pick so so we traded away our first round pick but we still had a second round pick and spencer dinwiddie is in the second round he did fall we didn't think he would be there, but we are going to pick him up. Solid point guard out of Colorado, 6'6". I'm liking this roster a lot now. Derrick Rose, Kevin Love, Luol Deng is our prime defender. Can play defense on the perimeter or inside. Joakim Noah obviously is going to play some defense as well. But now we've got Monte Ellis who can get buckets for us at the two guard. And I'm 
thinking this team is a top three team in the East without injuries. If we have injuries, then obviously that's going to affect us. But I do like this team a lot, and I did fire the coach. So we do have a new coach, but the same system. No Kevin Love on the All-Star team, but we do have Luol Deng and Derrick Rose. Luol Deng kind of surprising, I guess, because of his defense. And at the trade deadline, I'm not happy with what we're doing, and I don't blame the chemistry. Kind of a little bit, but we should not be in the seventh spot right now. Stephen Curry's gonna win the MVP kind of early, after 36 points per game. Okay, Dwight Howard on the Raptors. Mike D'Antoni on the Raptors. D Rose, wow, he probably could have won MVP if we had a better record. That is kind of disappointing. Putting up insane numbers, but checking out the standings, this is why he did not win MVP. Seventh seed in the East, really? This team is gonna get the seventh seed. We didn't really have that many injuries. Gilbert Arenas on the Wizards. We're going to play in the first round. But player stats, zeros. We saw his stats. Monte Ellis, I like that. Averaging the second most points on the team. That's why we traded for him. And we were top 10 on offense. Not on defense, though. All right, we're down 3-0. 3-1. Can we pull off a comeback here? So, it is going to be a Rockets-Raptors finals. I don't know if... I think James Harden is not even on the Rockets. Uh, Dwight Howard's on the Raptors, and he wins finals MVP. Draft lottery time. I do think we're going to have a better pick than usual, because we were the 7th seed, and we do have the 16th pick in the draft. So, I'm going to try to trade up. The first nine picks have already been made, but Miles Turner is sitting on the board still. And we're going to give Utah a future first in two years. Top three protected, so they should be able to do this. If not, I'll just override it because that's a pretty good deal to move up six spots. With the 10th pick in the draft, we are going to select Miles Turner making a big trade. But we did have to give up a future first, so we got to make this work at some point. 6'11", good defender out of Texas. Here is the roster after the offseason. We did have to pay Kevin Love a pretty big extension, 25 mil for four years. So that is pretty big. Joakim Noah, we also extended for two years. Going to be a good mentor to Miles Turner. So we'll see if he turns into our starting uh, center, but the rotation is looking pretty much the same. Monte Ellis, Luol Deng, D Rose, all the same guys. We just, chemistry is not going to be an excuse this season. We got to be top three in the East. If not, I don't know what's going to happen. We, have, we might have to go full rebuild. So D Rose and K Love both on the All Star teams again. No Luol Deng, but that was probably a fluke season. So we'll see what happens. At the trade deadline, coming off of a big win against the Mavericks. Three game win streak, actually. We are the seventh seed. How are we the seventh seed? Like, we're not even getting hit by that many injuries, so. Chef Curry winning MVP, averaging 34 points a game. Okay, Curry's going off with no KD over there and no Clay. Kemba on the Pelicans, kind of weird. Derrick Rose again. Look at those numbers. If we were just better, like, even the three seed, he could have probably won MVP. Kind of sad, but I don't know what to do with this team. Uh, we might have to just trade everyone and keep D-Rose and rebuild around him again. But we barely made it into the playoffs. We were not even over 500. Not that many injuries, as I said. We're playing the Raptors with DeMar DeRozan and Dwight Howard. So definitely going to be a challenge, but we can definitely pull off an upset here. And there are the stats. But team stats on offense, we were not good at all. On defense, top four. All right, I believe in this team. We can definitely beat this Raptors team. They're not that great. Dwight Howard, DeMar DeRozan. We lose game one. Come on, we can get game two. No, we can't. Game three. Oh, shit. Here we go again. So we are about to get swept in the first round. Don't know what's going on with this team. Heroes. 
very contested, still gets it to go. Oh, no way. No way. You're going to get that bucket not on Derrick Rose. Get the block. All right. Kevin Love wide open. That's a miss. All right. Just don't hit your shots, Kevin. But... Oh, good steal right there by Luol. Get it to D-Rose for the... Oh, I wanted to get a dunk. Nice little spin move for a green light. All right. Who wants a bucket? Derrick Rose, give me the screen. Kevin Love rolling to the rim. Nice little pump fake and the green light layup. All right, Derrick Rose again. With the moves into Kevin Love. Another pump fake and another layup. We got blown out. I don't know what happened, but... Oh, Joe Akeem Noah. Get that out of here, bro. What a block. Checking out the stats of this game. 22 and 10 for DeMar DeRozan. They had Karan Butler. Yeah, this team's not even that great for a one seed. But, I mean, they did have Dwight Howard. Derrick Rose did not shoot efficiently, but he tried his best. And Lou Aldang pretty much choked. Did not shoot well from three. Neither did Kevin Love. Thunder and the Pacers in the finals. I think the Pacers have Kyrie Irving and Paul George, so pretty good team. Thunder obviously has the big four, but it looks like the Pacers are going to win Kyrie Irving finals MVP. Can Derrick Rose lead a team to the finals, or is it time for a full rebuild in Chicago? Let me know in the comments. Watch part three to find out, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment.